On this episode, my good buddy Cade and I try our luck up on the shallow reef flats of the Swain Reef Group. With razor sharp coral reef, super aggressive hard fighting fish, and crystal clear water no deeper than a rod length, it had all the makings of a fast, furious, and most of all, fun little session. Check it out. Our plan for the day was to put Kate onto his first big GT on a lure, so we'd pretty much resorted to the fact we'd be casting most of the morning and potentially the day. But I've said it once and I'll say it again, Kate is one of the fishiest blokes I've ever met. So when his 190mm V-pop disappeared in an eruption of foam reminiscent of a small car being dropped in the water, we knew that this was his chance. After a short but violent fight, the true size of his quarry revealed itself and he had his prize. An absolute bus of a GT and one fish he could proudly tick off the bucket list. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we casted for a few more hours, caught a few more GTs and lost just as many again. All the while eyeing off a couple of football field sized patches of flats that lay behind the reef's edge. With our target species acquired and me happy to sign off that the GT episode was now complete, the call of the flats was all too much to resist. To be honest, I didn't even really plan on filming it, as I'd filmed some flats fishing the day before, so it was more just a fun little social session to fit in before lunch and quench the curiosity of what was sneaking around in the minefield of bombies and crevices that we've been staring at all morning. With plenty of batteries to burn, I figured I'd chuck the cameras on anyway, just in case. A decision I'm still thankful I made, and you'll soon see why. This is suicide. Oh, there's, you can see trout. Can you? Yeah. Oh, that, that was one down there. Yeah. I couldn't imagine landing a big one. Oh, Joe's oh, all right. This stuff's the hardest to land because they just swim down. Yeah. Like on that shallow rubble stuff, you got a shot because they can't really like. They can swim down, but not that hard. Then these holes. That is exactly how it happens. After that quick little prospect, we had our drift line sorted and positioned ourselves so we'd cover as much of the flat as possible without having to turn on the motor. It was time to see who was home. <laughs> Give it to him. He's up on top! Get out, come on! There he is! <laughs> Go, son! There he is! Oh, good trout! A bum trout! Lovely! There you go, Sammy! That's how you do it! There's lip grips in the um, yeah. thingy there. A bit upside down, but got the job done. Beautiful trout on these new V swims. Absolutely smashed it. Gave me a bit of grief, but uh, got him out. Beautiful fish. It tastes even better. Esky. Esky fish. Like I said, it's fast and furious fishing. In these areas, gear losses are to be expected rather than feared. Best part about it is when you do a real long cast and then you hook up like two swipes in, you're like, oh. Might even come up the front with you yeah. and go halves. <laughs> Cast, sweep, twitch, repeat. On the flats, it's only a matter of time before a critter emerges to put your reflexes and your tackle to the test. Oh, I'm not sure behind it. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Threw him behind it. I was like, what is that? Hey, Trouty! 
Another one for the box. Illegal? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Be careful there, Sammy. Yeah, not the box, just, <laughs> just, just a looker. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of him. Yeah. He's too small. With the fish clearly chewing, at least for Cade, I took it as the perfect opportunity to change up my approach. This might even be the flat. Chuck a little surface. Oh. That would be naughty. That would look very, very good. I'm gonna give it a little, a little go. Where'd those pliers just go? Just. In the world of fishing, they say one on the surface is worth 10 below. And when you're staring down the barrel of going down 10 nil to Cade, it was time to cash in. Back up in front of. In saying that, a quick drift reset and Cade was hooked up before I could even turn the cameras on. Oh, well he's done ya! <laughs> you hate to see it. No. Great and all. Oh, proper cooking. Proper cooking. It was a good fish too. Might have been a throat. Ugh. He didn't click it. The worst way. Oh, there's no chance. The amount of bombies around there. Yeah, I know. I'm just thinking that here. If I hook up out the back here, it's going to be all sad. Deadly edge over here. This is how you lose. Goodness. When your time finally does come, all you can do is make some weird ass noises and pull. Go, Sammy. Oh. Is that on the pop? Yep. <laughs> hey, little trouty. Good start. That's sick. Oh, it's not, not that bad. In the boat. That is awesome fun. Chucking little poppers over these bombies here. You can good trout. Sure, you can see behind us. The country that we're in. Whew. That's why you wear gloves. That's why you wear gloves on reef trips. The next thing that hits, if it doesn't hit a glove, is straight through your finger. I have lost count of the amount of times wearing gloves has saved my ass out here. I say as Kay doesn't wear gloves. <laughs> He'll learn. That was cool. Little surface eat. After strictly using lip grips all trip, this was a quick lesson in complacency that I was lucky to get away with. Now, like I promote in all my videos, all fish kept for the table are brain spiked and bled before being placed on ice. Got him? That was fast. You come out? No, he's trying. Oh, oh no! Another leader. No. No. Might have to stock up on a few more. Yeah, to be honest, I might have to go pay quarter visit. Unfortunately out here, the reef takes no prisoners. With no more topwater action, it was time to rig up another stick bait for me as well. Better steal it. I'll buy any one before you get to it.
That coral tree out on its one last one cast? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. No, I think like two or three. Oh, since our redrift, yeah. I think. To be honest, if you were giving me some, I reckon that avalanche will go off. Every, nearly every single cast I was going, I was going to follow over here. I look forward to losing it for you. And just like that, someone flicked the switch and it was on for young and old. Oh. Go, Sammy. Oh, he's only a pup. Oh, no, he's not. Eagle. Oh, he got mates. Does he? Yeah, look. Oh. Oh, we're, he's back there. Followed him up. Was he a good size? Oh, same. Fast and furious fishing. There he is. Lovely. There he is. Nice. Beautiful trout. It's all happening. Oh no, it's not so. Should be some um, like pointy nose toit ones in that same front bit there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He clobbered that. It looked like it. He oh. Oh. oh, missed it. I might have to drive around this one. <laughs> get him, get him. You got him? Yep. So he got you. Oh, it's a good trout. Look at him. Got him. That's a cracker. That's a belter. Oh. Didn't he give you some? Bit of hard work there, Sammy. <laughs> Show the camera. That's a belter. Another nice trouty on the V-swim. A bit bigger than the other ones. He's good a good fight. Fish. Yeah. Oop. Whoopsie. Might have to go after this drift. Whitey's cruising as well. All right. I saw him flash it! That's a solid, nice little trout. Right off the rod tip. Don't fall off, don't fall off. Woo! Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> I was like, oh, I saw, oh, Lewis just popped it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no, he got he his back on it. He's got it again. <laughs> he, he got, oh, he lost it again. 
Oh, he's oh, 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 my God. Oh, 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 this might be the zone. Oh my, look at the size of him. Yeah, he's better again. That was, I watched it eat it <laughs> that third time. Yeah, that, that, I watched it eat number one, and then number two, and then he came for number three. I can't three. believe he kept on coming back. Like, he mustn't have felt the hooks. He must have just pinned it with his oh, teeth he, or something. He just must be so hungry. <laughs> oh yeah, he's just off it. What's oh. it? Practice that I want to be doing. Big would be good. Oh, that'd be cool. That's what. I, that's the next thing I'd probably want to. Oh my god, he's so far out. <laughs> he's a skipper. Yeah, I'm skipping. Look at that. <laughs> what is that? Trigger. Trigger in the face. Even better. <laughs> I'm not really sure what it is about reef flats that's so downright appealing. It seems like there's a universal gravitation to trim the motor up and go check them out. Like all types of fishing with a strong visual element, even when you're not catching fish, there's always something that grabs your attention as you drift through. Mix that with the fact that it produces some of the most heart in your mouth, hang on and hope styles of fishing where a fish not even big enough to take for a feed will just as quickly bury you in the reef and break you off as a trophy sized critter. It truly is an angler's paradise. Yeah, mate. Well, that was a wild uh, couple of hours. Yeah. I don't think Cade could have summed it up any better. What a wild couple of hours. Unfortunately, guys, that is all we've got time for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you're all safe and well. And I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers. Oh! Go, Sammy. Is that on the pop? Yep. <laughs>